and what you want, but how do you make sure you're not counter manifesting your success? Entrepreneur, philanthropist, and author of Eight Secrets to Powerful Manifesting, How to Create the Reality of Your Dreams, Mandy Morris joins us right now to answer that exact question. Mandy, this is literally my vibe all year long. How are you? Uh, thank you for having me. I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. So for those of us who don't know what it is, what is manifestation? So manifestation, although it's kind of gotten a funny rap, it's rooted in science and psychology, and it is the process in which we create our reality, whether it's happening consciously or unconsciously. Okay. And I mean, it can be so many things from big goals to even a little personal goal, right? I don't think there's a limit to it. Absolutely. And sometimes we think it's only related to goals, but almost everything that's going on in our world, whether we get the promotion, we find the soulmate, whatever it is, comes down to how we manifest. Okay. And what is counter manifestation? That's interesting. I love this word so much because it's what everyone's doing, but no one knows it. So manifesting we think is like this purposeful process, what we want, but counter manifesting, it's what's happening all the time. So it is basically our subconscious mind and all of the stuff that's in there counteracting what we say we want consciously. So if I've got a fear of love that sits in my subconscious, but I'll consciously say that I want the soulmate while well, I'm counter manifesting. I'm probably not going to bring it forth because that fear hasn't been dealt with. I mean, so simple, but so true, especially it's almost like um, you're sabotaging yourself in a way when you allow those negative thoughts or those doubts to subconsciously take over, right? Yeah, and it's happening unconsciously. So then everyone's sitting there going, why am I not getting it? I'm so frustrated. And really, it's just we've got to understand and address what's going on beneath the surface so that it can come to the surface, be healed, and then we can move forward. I like that very much. It's something for, I think, a lot of us. Now I'm even thinking, okay, what do I have within me that I'm not really showing, but it's, it's there, you know? And I know you also have do's and don'ts to avoid counter manifestation. Can we get into those? Yes. So a huge do is go into your subconscious mind. And the easiest way to do that is to look at areas of your life and say, am I happy? Am I satisfied? And the big question is, why am I not? What could be going on? So digging into the subconscious, because then we find our beliefs that aren't serving us, then we can sort them out. One of the don'ts is don't ignore those fears. Don't ignore the nagging thoughts and, and all this stuff that, you know, comes up. We need to get curious. I always say this, don't get emotional. Just get curious because then you're not going to bring all that stuff with it. It's just, I picked this up somewhere along the way and I can put it down. Yeah, it's like you're just facing it, you're dealing with it, and maybe by understanding why you feel a certain way, you can easily move forward and release all of that, right? Yeah, because then we're kind of like, I imagine if I'm like a lamp and I'm giving out light everywhere, I'm kind of dim. You can't see me from very far away. But if I'm like a laser, which is the type of manifestation we want to get to, then I'm a straight shot for what I desire because there's not all this like stuff slowing me down. Yes, I'm snapping like a poet when I listen to poetry because <laughs> I love what you just said. And you also say do stay focused on the desired manifestation. That could be difficult to do, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because again, stuff will come in and say, we can't have it. I'm distracted because this is happening in my life. But it's every day, whether it's you wake up in the morning, you do it before bed, remind yourself not just what you want, but how it will feel when you have it. Because emotions are like gold for manifestation. Sometimes we're ran by them, but a master manifester will use them to their advantage. And so getting yourself into that state of, oh my gosh, I can imagine when I'm gonna have that house or do my purpose work. Oh, it feels so good. That emotion brings it forth that much faster. Laser lamp, right? Laser lamp and you're being curious, not emotional. Very curious only. Yes. And then you also say, do get into the vibration of your desired result. What does that mean? So we could call it vibration or some people who might be turned off by that word. I also call it the mental state, right? Really, again, we're going back to what does the emotional experience feel like? Because we get so hyper-focused on the 3D stuff. We want the material stuff, but that's because of our past. Our programming has told us it will make me happy. It will lead to this thing. But ultimately the emotional experience that we're trying to get to can be instantaneous. So instead we find the things that bring us that feeling that we know the thing that we want will give us, but we experience it in the now. Therefore we keep that mental state or we stay in the vibration of what we desire. Girl, I'm loving all this so much. We kind of already touched on this. Don't ignore nagging fear, face it. But I love this next one. Don't speak poorly to yourself. We do it so much. I do it all the time. 
How do I not do that? <laughs> so I, at first, everyone kind of goes a little crazy with this, but it's so impactful. I still do it. I'll set an alarm on my phone like every hour or every three hours, and it's just to check in. How do I feel? How do I feel about myself? And again, instead of being emotional, like, wow, I feel terrible, or I don't like myself today, or I think I look like this or whatever, it's, why do I think this? Like, what's coming up for me right now? And I would say the biggest thing to that is, it's here to serve you. Everything that comes up to trigger us and upset us is not here to throw us off. It's actually just showing us the things that are blocking us. So they're beautiful gifts. We just have to dive into them. Mandy, what an incredible conversation we're having right now. I hope everyone at home is enjoying it because it's something I needed to hear today. This is another one that a lot of us do. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Maybe we need to be easier on ourselves. Don't you agree? Amen. Well, self-love, and that's like a whole chapter in my book. And sometimes we're like, self-love? Well, I have to do all these things to be worthy of self-love. Like as moms, we're like, I'll do self-care. I'll take that bath after I do this, 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 and this. But that's not what true self-care and self-love is. And so when we go, hold on a second, I'm so hard on myself, but I am so forgiving to others. Or why am I even beating myself up? Man, it just, it's such a waste of time because love is literally that space that allows for us to create that much more quickly and be more for the world or for our kids or, you know, whatever it is. So no judgment, again, curiosity. I... I'm absolutely going to live by this or try to at least, you know, I can't say these absolutes, but thank you so much, Mandy. How can people get your book and get in touch with you? Um, the eight secrets.com. We've got tons of amazing bonuses as well, but that's where they can buy the book, join the community. We're going to start reading it March 22nd or whatever one gets it in their hands. We got tons of amazing people behind this book. So I'm so, so excited. It was a huge labor of love. I, I really appreciate that. And I think something so simple has so much power in it because it comes from your passion. A lot of people are going to get great benefits out of it. Thank you for your time, Mandy. Thank you so much for having me. I absolutely feel motivated. I hope y'all do too. And you know, to manifest what you want is one thing, but it's even more powerful when you actually get to see it all happen, especially great.